Hi, Don. Nice to see you, mate. It's been a long time. Thanks very much for giving up your time today. We, we're not going to keep you long. Uh, another season ended prematurely, prematurely at a bad time for us because we were in a bit of a good role, weren't we? Yeah, well, I think we were 10 games unbeaten or so. And we, like I say, we, we were playing as well as we could be, probably. And after we beat Stockton in December, I think from there we'd have kicked on in both, both in the league and the Vars. But like I say, the league has gone again. But we've got the Vars now, and that's the main aim for the lads. The lads are buzzing to get back at it, and we just we want to get as far as we can in that and hopefully get to the end goal of uh, playing the final. And what's the match day experience been like uh, with the COVID restrictions in place? Obviously, with the fans not being there, they play, the Shulman fans are classed. Like since I came about four years ago, they've been no, but nice to me, and they don't have to the team on both home and away. And when you're playing behind closed doors or you're playing with 150, I think it was for the most part of this season, it, it does make a difference because there's not as many lads there shouting at us, tune us on or, or not. But it definitely made a difference and it's a lot different to what it would normally be like. You must have been pleased with your own form, Dom, since, since you came back from your loan. You pretty much made the left back spot your own, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Since when I went on loan, the lads are towel all great with us. The manager, the players, I knew a few of the lads like Lou up at towel all, and it just, just made, it's, I don't know what it was. I wasn't playing my best football before I went there and then I had a little injury as well after the first game at Stockton in the FA Cup and then I just needed to get there to get playing week in, week out and get back to my levels of where I was not last season, the season before where I was playing well and then when I've come back, like I say, it was that game of concert where I won 2-0 and that was probably the best I've played in a year or two years and I've just kicked on from there and my confidence seems to be back I've not done a lot different since I come back, but I just feel like everything's clicking for me personally, as well as the lads in the team sense. Do you like playing at left back? I don't mind it actually. I might not be the most conventional attacking left back, but uh, I'd say I bring a bit of stability to the back line. So obviously, there's Aiden on the right who he'll go forward. He's a lot better going forward than me, and he'll do that part of the game when. Whereas you've got me, who's basically a centre half, but playing left back, and I'm obviously six foot two, and I prefer the defending side of the game, and I do, probably would need to work on my attack a bit, but I still try and get as much as I can and do as much as I can both ways for the team. You mentioned um, this stability in defence there. How important is that for the rest of the team to go forward? Yeah, it just helps us kick on, basically. If if the back four is strong, obviously we've got Sean and goal as well. If the back four and Sean are, are solid at the back, it just makes it harder for the other team as well to gain any momentum against us because we're confident that we can, if not keep clean sheet, we can keep them out for as much as we need to. And then that just breeds confidence in the rest of the team because it just allows us to go forward and then her team's on the attack rather than holding on for our life and holding for a counter-attack. I think since, especially since I've come back, we've been dominating teams going forward rather than getting dominated. I don't know if you watched Billy's interview, Dom, but he, he, he said that since you came back from Tauloa, you were, you were like the Bishop Auckland Roberto or Carlos. That's a, that's a bit of decent praise for you, isn't it? It is. It's a bit of a stretch, though. I definitely don't have his uh, free kick abilities. Or crossing abilities, but yeah. To be I'm, honest, I'm surprised you're old enough to know who Roberto Carlos is. <laughs> I know who he is. I know, I know how good he, of a player he was, and there's definitely a bit of high praise from Billy as well. But I think it's a bit, uh, a bit of an uh, overstatement to call me Roberto Carlos. I'm nowhere <laughs> yet. What's it been like playing alongside uh, Bobby in defence? Well. Bobby's been there since I came when I was 17 and he's, I've learned absolutely loads of Bobby, whether I've been playing centre-half with him, whether I've been playing just in the same side as him, if he's been in the midfield or if I've been left-back, 
and he's alongside us. He just he's got any amount of experience you want, and as, as you can see, he's just one of the best play, one of the better defenders in the league. So learning from him and having him by my side, he just keeps me right, and I've just learned a whole lot from him. Just about going back to your loan spell, the Tower Lord Dum. What, what were they feeding you on up there? Because you were getting yellow cards and everything, and that's not the dumb call that I know. I remember the first game we went. It was a Tuesday night against Eden and up at Tower Law, and I got a yellow card in the first 10 minutes, and I thought, oh, God, he's, he's going to be a long month. But <laughs> that was, they were mainly bad tackles. They weren't shouting at the ref, which obviously, you know, I don't do much. And <laughs> just a few missed time tackles, I don't know, I must have been a bit uh, a bit hyper or something uh, every game I played there, because I, I think I got three when I was there and I only played about six games. How have you been uh, keeping fit during this lockdown that's currently happening? So, I've got uh, a lot of weights and stuff in the garage, so I normally do that, maybe it's Monday to Friday through the week, then I've been getting off for a long run on a Saturday just to... Remember, like how much distance I cover in a game, so 10, 8, 10k every Saturday, and then once through the week as well, just do a short three mile to keep ticking over. So I'm probably about as fit as I was. Just obviously, the match fitness is different to being fit enough to run 10k in a straight line around, around Bishop, basically. I had a, a trial or two at professional clubs in your younger days. Uh, I know you wanted to finish your education, but did any of them offer you anything further? Uh, unfortunately not it was Sunderland I went to the first season I was a children and just they just said they keep an eye on us for then so unfortunately that one didn't go anywhere and then I went to Bradford as well and that was same old story same story I just didn't quite make the cut when I was there and, um, from this season uh, in the league or the Vars what's been your favourite moment? I'd say definitely Stockton game you know, we went up. Obviously, it's a it's a really tough place to go. The stop and their ground and them as a team. They also, obviously they were up there last season, walking the league, and this season they've been strong as well. So for us to go up there and, and turn them over three one, and especially when Dino scored that third goal, it was just really a proud moment to seal that game out and get through the next round, especially against the top side in our league as well. The top of my head, Dom. I can't remember you scoring a goal for Shilden. Am I, am I missing one? Did you go any? No, I haven't. <laughs> None at all? Not in the right net anyway. Is there no one? I've scored three in the wrong net. Have you had any near misses you can tell us about? I think the first, one seems to stay on my head when I used to be up for corners against Whitley Bay the first season I was here. I was about five yards out putting over the bar. And that was, all, that was about as close as I've got, I think. So let's, let's just say uh, Saturday, when it comes against Warrington, you get the winner. What's your celebration going to be? Uh, question. <laughs> Probably just a relief and run, in, run the corner and uh, jump in with all the lads. I think that's about as far as I go. I wouldn't have any wacky dance moves or anything. I'm not, I don't have that in my locker. And you mentioned the FA Vars game there. Are you looking forward to the game? Definitely. It's, uh, it's, it's a month from now, isn't it? And we, we're chopping it a bit to get back. Like you say, it's just, it's only the Vars now. So that's one thing to concentrate on is uh, Obviously, the main goal is to get the final. We don't want the season to end even shorter than it, than it has. We want to get as many games as we can and get to the final and on the 22nd of May. And that's what we all... The motivation for us is that every game now is a cup final and we just want to be in, we want to be in the final and then with a shot of winning it. Do you know anything about our Vars opponents, Dom? Have you had a look, see if they've got a speedy winger or whatever? Not particularly. I know they're strong in their league. But I don't know anything about the players that they've got. So that will be something I'll have to look up on if I can find anything between now and the 17th of April. Is the prospect of Wembley a main factor in wanting to win the games, I take it? Definitely. 
biggest ground in the country. It's, I don't think it gets much better than that in England. Playing at Wembley, especially if we do get there, it'll be a great day for the fans as well because I think the 17th of May is when they're letting fans back in the ground. So if we get there, it'll be a great day for everyone, everyone involved, the club and the fans and, and myself playing on that pitch. I'm guessing, Dom, that the, the highlight of your career was the night at the Stadium of Light. What, what kind of experience was that? Yeah, hit nail on the head there. Definitely, definitely that night so far because it was, it's weird. It was like we were pros. Like you're getting let through the players' lounge, walk through the players' entrance. And then we were the, we were classed as home side, so we got the full access to the Sunderland change room. And from what I can remember, it was just completely different than the one we have at T Street, as you can imagine. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was much bigger. It was, just, it was just totally different. And then getting out on the pitch with four stands around you, fully covered, it was surreal, really. Because I'd, I'd, I'd been in grounds, obviously, to watch, but I'd never actually played a competitive game in the ground. So it was quite surreal when we first got there. They just got on the pitch and couldn't think of nothing but winning. We were aware out on the pitch of the, the Shildon fans that night. It's a, yeah, well, definitely. About, about 700 or so. Yeah, definitely them and then when we scored I said it said the day we, we won that it was the loudest I've heard a fan noise in like from a foot like from playing football it was they were class like I say the fans always they always behind us and they always making a lot of noise so when that goal went in when Billy scored just in the start of the second half it was it was the loudest I've heard and it just give us a give us a kick on to go and win how did you celebrate that night? Were you, were you old enough at that time to have a celebratory drink? I was, yes. We all went to the pub and we got a few drinks in the bar at the, at the ground and then we just went out as a team with all, with my mum and dad were there. We went to, I can't remember the name of the bar, but we just went down somewhere on the UFC fund and had a few uh, sherbets. And Sheldon have um, been in the hunt for promotion the past two seasons. Do you think next season that'll be the same story? Or do you think there's areas that uh, the squad needs to improve? I think we'll definitely be up there next year. Like I said, we were just we were just ticking along before uh, when the Vars game when the last Vars game was. And I think that would have carried us forward in the league as well. I know we were sixth or seventh in the league at that time, but there was only ten games played, so there was another twenty odd games to go. And I think from that 10-game on Bitman, we'd have just kicked on. And I don't think we'd have dropped many points from the end of the season. So definitely next year, with the same group of lads, I think we'll definitely be up there again. How did you come to, to sign for Children Dome over your, your local club, Bishop Auckland? <laughs> Long story. Yeah, I was at St Mary's, which is Bishop Auckland junior side, till the under-16s. And then all the lads just split up. Most of us went to... Most of them went to Spenny, most of them went to Sheldon to play for the under-18 side. So for that first season of the under-18 side, uh, I got Chris Hughes, I don't know if you know him. Yeah, I know Chris then. Yeah, he was involved with the under-18, so at the end of that season, it was, I think it was the start of April, maybe the end of March of that season, he got us to play in a friendly where the first team lads just, I think it was more for minutes towards the end of the season, just we played against... Was it the Academy of Light Lads? That first first Academy of Light Lads. So I, I played in that game, played for the Sheldon, Sheldon first team uh, at left back. And then from there, Bobby just said he wanted us to sign. And I was delighted. And then that weekend, even after that game, it was my first game at Jarrah, Jarrah Rufin. Remember, remember it well, yeah. You started left back and you went to St. Arthur, didn't you? Yeah. I went the other way to where I've gone. <laughs> I've always had left back in my locker at some point. Just uh, the final one from me. Um, if we win the next round of the Vars, what would you prefer draw be? Would you prefer a home draw or away? Definitely a home draw. 
we haven't had many of the VARs, but the three I've played have been Stockton, Bootle and Hallam. And especially if they start letting fans back in, if we're at home, it'll definitely give us a kick. A kick on, sorry. Do you not enjoy the, the celebratory bus trips home, Dom? I do, but I don't enjoy the trip there because it's torturous getting, especially when it's a few hours away. Sitting on a bus that long, you just want to be there. You want to be there and with, with children, it's five minutes away from me home, so I can just set off and yeah. leave where when it's at home game. And just before we let you go, Dom, I think you're a bit on the quick side. It was the quickest hour at our club. Could you give Joe Poor still a run for his money? Me and Joe have another race. We've got him up next. I'm going to ask him the same question. I think <laughs> it'll be very close between me and Joe. But I wouldn't like to say, because he'd probably butcher us if we did have a race and I've said I'm quicker than him. Who do you think has the best chance of winning a header? Me or Posty. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't me, I'd be very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks very much for your time, Don. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Yeah, hopefully. Four weeks' time. Another, another fortnight or so before you're allowed to train, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be bang at this. A lot of running, a lot of friendlies. I think we've got plans, so hopefully we'll be ready for the 17th. Thank All you right. very much, mate. Thank Here's you. Speak to you soon. Well, well done. See you later. Thank you. See ya. See you now.